You might have thought, as some have, that Senate President Nick Scutari's ascension to the Senate presidency might usher in a period of warm relations with the governor's office, at least a bit warmer than the chilly detente that characterized the final two years of his predecessor's relationship with the governor's office. You might not be wrong, but you probably aren't right either. Well, this was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in Trent. Senator Bramnick is reacting to last week's resolution in the Senate, calling on Governor Murphy to take all measures necessary to address the backlog of unemployment claims and reopen those in-person one-stop career centers, which have been closed since the earliest days of the pandemic. A public censor of the majority party's own governor and each of the Democrats joined in in the Senate and all the Republicans. You never see that. Senate Labor Committee Chairman Fred Madden is a co-sponsor. He says his office has been fielding calls about problems with unemployment claims for almost two years now. My office calls, my office emails, and sometimes it works and often it does not. Madden says he would have liked to have heard from Labor Commissioner Robert Asaro Angelo at today's committee meeting. He had an earful to share about frustration from clients and even from his staff tasked with helping. We have people that are not receiving any income, six months plus. The emails are heartbreaking. Someone's unemployment check. We have no real recourse here. Republican committee member Mike Testa says Madden and Scutari are behind the times on this one. I'm happy that we're finally pushing the Department of Labor uh, to open in person for in-person meetings, but so many of New Jerseyans have been struggling for approximately two years at this point. After much back and forth, says Madden, Asaro Angelo has agreed to Thursday's meeting, at which point a fuller-throated reaction may be forthcoming from committee members who seem to be holding their fire this morning. We're super happy to help all of our constituents in Legislative District 1, and I know my colleagues on both sides of the aisle are happy to help their constituents, but you know what? It would really be great if the Department of Labor was actually doing their job instead of us doing their job for them. Scutari couldn't talk to us today, but Republicans are cheering what they see as a new approach to dealing with the governor, one that sees him as not particularly strong with voters. Tells you two things. Two things. One, the polling of Murphy must be bad. And second, these legislators are just tired of excuses and they don't care the fact that he's a member of the Democratic Party. So on the eve of the governor's budget speech, does the Labor Committee chair expect to hear some good news on this subject? I would be extremely disappointed if he did not address some measure in his budget. It's possible that the governor could equip the labor secretary with a sword of promised funding for the department come Thursday, but from the tenor of things, it may not be enough to avoid the full barrage of lawmakers who may now be seeing blood in the water. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.